Hi and welcome to the vlog. We are at Whipsnade Zoo and it is Little hey. Miss Grumpy's sixth birthday. <laughs> to read no. Eileen and then a six there, but part of the E has fallen off. Yeah, yeah. Alice, eat the chocolate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eileen. Happy birthday to you. Alice. Yum yum yum. Mm. Um, yum. 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 Your head up. Sit up, baby. <gasps> and wasp. Right. Yum, 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 of course. Yum, yum, it yum, is Britain in August. Mm. Oh. I'm wishing I had a coat with me right now, but it's going to get warmer, right? Yeah. Or mm. well, hypothermia will set in, in which case you won't feel it anyway. Mm. It's fine. One of the things Ellen sometimes does is when she's eating, she sticks her tongue out and pushes the spoon away. Which is quite an effective way of communicating, yeah, I'm alright. Like you just did them. You enjoyed some of your cake, didn't you? Yeah? And we're on the steam train! <laughs> now they do have space for the wheelchair on the steam train but because she's in the carrier we've opted to leave the wheelchair in the buggy park. They still allowed us to get on first which was really helpful. So now we're gonna look at rhinos I think we will see and I think we'll see elephants. Definitely animals. Uh, we'll see animals, yeah. yes, which we're really looking forward to. Quite impressed with the accessibility 
and the facilities we've seen loads of families with uh, children with additional needs of a variety of ways we've seen quite a lot of wheelchair users a lot of children who look like they have cerebral palsy and similar complex needs we've seen down syndrome we've seen children who seem to be on the spectrum we've seen a boy with a stick so severe vision impairment um, so far we've had no issues access accessing things with a wheelchair I've got somebody talking in my ear now. <laughs> Ella's gotten a lot out of today so far already. She's enjoyed the bustle and the sound and she got goats climbing on her, which was really funny, and a donkey whose head was bigger than she is um, coming up and nibbling at her um, uh, cloth thingy. So that was funny as well. Um, and we've had yeah we've had a really really nice day and we're going to attempt to go on the seam train again very very soon so he said be back at quarter past so that's in five minutes time and hope we will be able to go this time so he told us um there was a deer giving birth right next to the track <laughs> so that's why the train couldn't run before which you know fair enough because we don't want to stress the poor birthing mother out and who knows, maybe we'll see a little newborn little fawn, right? Who knows, maybe we'll see a little newborn fawn. So, there won't be much talking because we're so close. But once again, what is he overcompensating for? Second attempt. Alice on the choo-choo train. Choo-choo train. Nina go on the choo-choo train. Yeah. yeah. I haven't got a choice. I'm just doing what I'm told. <laughs> Det är en zebra. Är det en zebra? Zebra. Ja, zebra. Ja, det är en zebra. Det är inte en tiger, det är en zebra. Nej, vi kan inte klappa den. Did 
end of our day at the zoo. We have been here for <laughs> for five, no, seven hours. We've been here since ten. Holy crap! We've been here for seven hours. We're a bit tired, uh, so hopefully both girls will fall asleep on the way home. We're hoping that we will at some point actually get out of the zoo. Uh, which we're not managing yet <laughs> but we've had a fantastic day it's been really nice elin has gotten a lot out of her birthday and we're just gonna go home now and crash 